Hey guys, welcome to my first tech review. It's for this, the new Nokia 8110. I've got it here in the yellow. Would have loved to have had it in the black to show you. Very much Matrix vibes. Don't know if any of you, any of you remember the movie. Really, really cool. Kind of flick and then flick it closed and throw it into the trash. They can't track you. <laughs> loved it. Thought it was the coolest thing in the world at the time. Wanted to go goth because I thought Neo was so cool. Thankfully, was talked out of it. Thank you to that person who advised me that I would look ridiculous, and I would have done. It is kind of a smartphone. It runs a thing called KaiOS, which has certain apps available for it. It's not Android or iOS. It's a kind of half and half. It has Google Assistant, Google Maps, Google Search. You can have your emails through there. It has a basic voice recorder and things like that, and a very basic camera. I believe it's only two megapixel and has a flash. Certainly, I played about with it. I didn't find the quality for the pictures was spectacular. It does take a memory card, does have a music player, so you can do basic things like that on there. There's some talk of it getting WhatsApp. I haven't heard if it's confirmed yet. It would be cool if it did. It is 4G, so it's certainly capable of fast enough speeds to work for that. All in all, well, it's not for me, I can see there is probably a niche of people who quite like it and people who are into retro phones, it's not hugely expensive, you're looking in the kind of 65 to 75 range to buy it outright. The one downside I found was that's a little bit wiggly. It doesn't have the same feel as the original Nokia's and I found that to be the case with a lot of their new phones they just aren't made the same. It used to be you would buy a Nokia and you would think, I can stick this in a sock and beat somebody to death with it if I need to. And we would joke about that. We never actually did it, if anybody's watching. We definitely, definitely didn't do it. I promise. But you could, uh, they certainly had a considerable heft to them and they felt well made. And this does, everywhere apart from there, where I've only used it for a day or two and it just feels a little bit wiggly. Like one little and it'll be gone. It's not a huge issue and certainly for the cost, I think it's pretty reasonable. You can't have premium build quality on a phone at the price that it's going at. So can't argue with Nokia there. I will say I like it. A thumbs up if it's the sort of thing for you. I won't be leaving my Android phone for it. I think most people who have them won't be. But yeah, really good. Enjoy, guys.